In the age of streaming and video on demand, you can watch movies pretty much anywhere these days. But nothing will ever quite top the magic of the cinema. Horror is a genre that lends itself perfectly to the environment of a cinema. Watching movies in a theatre means that there's no distractions from the outside world, forcing viewers to pay more attention to what's on screen. The tension is higher, the suspense is greater, the scares are scarier. And so with that in mind, I'm Ellie with What Culture here with 10 horror movies that only work in the cinema. Number 10. Drag Me to Hell The best way to experience a jump scare is in the conditions created by a cinema. Their lack of external light and sound makes you focus more tightly on what's happening on screen, which means you'll be caught more off guard when something unexpected happens. The perfect movie to prove this is Sam Raimi's 2009 film Drag Me to Hell. This wicked tale is about lone officer Christine attempting to escape a demonic curse placed on her by a scorned gypsy. It's got jumpy moments aplenty like when Gan Ganesh, the gypsy, appears in Christine's tool shed, or when Ganesh appears in her bed, or when Ganesh appears on her phone screen. It sounds like audiences should have been ready for Ganesh to appear all the time, but it's still scary every single time she pops up. A tense scare fest from a horror legend, Drag Me to Hell deserves all your attention. Number 9. It Follows Music plays a huge role in how scary a movie is. Dark, brooding sounds subliminally set the tone for a scene and let the audience know something bad is about to happen long before it actually does. Whilst you can get some pretty impressive home speaker systems these days, nothing beats a cinema for that immersive surround sound experience. Want proof? Listen to the title theme from 2015's It Follows at Home and then in a movie theatre. The film centres around a demonic entity passed on by sex. It's better than it sounds, I promise and was scored by Richard Vreeland, better known by the stage name Disasterpiece. It Follows comprises mostly of pulsing extraterrestrial synth sounds that create a sense of mystery and dread in every scene. Each piece of music sounds filled to the brim and hits you like a wall of noise every time. Just listen to that track through your headphones, then imagine how grandiose it would have sounded through dozens of huge speakers. Number 8. Wait Until Dark 1967's Wait Until Dark isn't technically classed as a horror, but it's got all of the genre's key elements. It stars Audrey Hepburn as a young blind woman who must survive a home invasion led by a violent criminal. Yep, sounds like a horror, alright. Presenting a protagonist with sensual impairments is a bona fide way to create sympathy towards them. Audiences love an underdog, and Hepburn plays the frightened woman with the odds stacked against her to perfection. Her performance got nominated for an Oscar. The film descends into a battle of wits as Hepburn's character Susie tries to even the playing field against her sighted foes. The film's thrilling climax, which plays out in near total darkness, is gripping from start to end, and is amplified further by a cinema's lack of light. Watching Wait Until Dark in a theatre helps you to put yourself in Susie's shoes. The intimacy of the setting makes you feel like you're in the house with her, but unable to stop any of the film's horrifying acts from playing out. You'll never want to be home alone ever again. Number 7. Get Out Jordan Peele's first foray into horror directing established the former comedian as a modern master of the craft. Starring Daniel Kaluuya as a man visiting his girlfriend's parents at a secluded country estate, Get Out is all about subverting expectations and exploring the real horrors that are still worryingly prevalent in our world. Alongside its stellar acting, sense of tension and harrowing depictions of modern society, Get Out is also so appealing because of its plot twist. You'll spend the entire movie in the same position as Kalua's character Chris, desperately trying to work out what's going on before it's too late. Watching this picture in a cinema with dozens of people in the same boat as you ratchets its drama up 100-fold. The collective gasp when everyone in the theatre realises what's happening is pure adrenaline. The film's isolated setting also piles on the danger for Chris and it is impossible not to get invested in his plight. Kalua's expression turning to one of pure dread simply cannot be viewed on a laptop screen. Number 6. Rosemary's Baby Released in 1968 and starring Mia Farrow in the title role of Rosemary, not her baby, the movie is about a young woman who suspects her elderly neighbours are preparing to use her unborn child as part of a satanic ritual. Rosemary's Baby puts its protagonist through some pretty gruesome stuff and audiences watching in theatres are forced along for the ride. The whole movie feels like a dream, or more accurately, a nightmare, as characters and viewers alike are left guessing what's real and what's not. The intensity of a cinema viewing really works 
works in this film's favour, as those watching the action unfold are trapped by an intoxicating combination of doubt and peril, as they watch a defenceless woman get taken advantage of by those in positions of power. Also, let's talk about that score. The creepy lullaby singing at the start of the movie? That swirling around via a cinema sound setup is enough to put anyone off ever having kids. Number 5. The Shallows like Audrey Hepburn in Wait Until Dark, Blake Lively is a lone protagonist facing a seemingly impossible challenge in 2016's The Shallows. Nancy Adams is a surfer who becomes stranded out at sea on a rock. Oh, and there's the small matter of a giant great white shark patrolling the waters around her. Not only is Nancy stuck on a rock with no hope of making it back to shore, she's also injured from an earlier tangle with her new fishy friend. The movie centres on her attempts to heal her wound and make it back to dry land without ending up as Bruce's breakfast. Whilst watching a film at home, it's easier to distract oneself from the action on screen. You can go to the bathroom without barging past six other people, you can get a snack without paying a fortune, you can go on your phone without being banned for life. Not in a cinema though. Instead, you're forced to watch on, teeth clenched as Nancy battles the odds, and it really is heart racing stuff. Number 4 The Descent Claustrophobia is a very powerful tool in a filmmaker's arsenal. The fear of being trapped in a small space with no way out taps into something deep within the human psyche, a primordial sense of danger that comes from our days as wild animals. Cinemas are, by their nature, claustrophobic spaces. They literally keep audiences stuck in a box for around two hours at a time, with the price of escape being the loss of immersion in the action on screen. Put this feeling together with a film set in an underground cave network overrun with monsters, and that is a recipe for scary success. The Descent is about a group of thrill-seeker friends who decide to go caving. After a rock slide blocks the only known exit to the cave, the women find themselves trapped underground with no idea of how to get out, and only mysterious, flesh-eating creatures for company. The enclosed environment of the big screen creates a parallel to the protagonist's plight in The Descent. You almost feel like you're also trapped underground, constantly checking over your shoulder to see if something is chasing you. Number 3. It Aside from being the film least optimised for search engine optimization, the 2017 version of Stephen King's It is one of the best big-budget horror movies of recent years. The classic fable of Pennywise the sewer-dwelling, balloon-holding, child-munching clown is well known even by those not that fussed by horror movies, but it has to be seen on a cinema screen to be fully appreciated. We've mentioned already that cinemas create more sympathy towards protagonists, and there are fewer beings on Earth more instantly sympathetic than children. The Losers Club are not equipped to deal with a demonic harlequin. They should be riding their bikes, scuffing their knees and getting rejected by girls, not dealing with this. There's also the claustrophobia of the final battle in the deserted house, as well as the feeling of hopelessness created by its impressive powers. Plus, the sound design in this movie makes the monster feel huge, like he's about to leap out of the film and tear the audience limb from limb. With the skeleton of a blockbuster and all the elements of a classic horror, it just feels like it belongs in a multi complex. Number 2. Alien Why some people don't think that 1979's Alien is a horror movie makes no sense. Yes, it's set in outer space and features extraterrestrials, elements traditionally associated with science fiction, but why can't it be a sci-fi movie and a horror movie? The crew of the Nostromo, led by Sigourney Weaver's Ellen Ripley, are mercilessly picked off by an unknown alien killer stalking their every move. As the number of survivors slowly declines, as does the chance of any of the characters making it out alive, nowhere on the Nostromo is safe, which means that this movie just does not let up. Audiences don't get a single second to catch their breath before they're plunged right back into the otherworldly terror. The fact that there's only one alien instead of a whole horde of them slows the pace of the movie right down, dragging out the tension. As a result, audiences are left hanging on every second of Alien, both desperate to be free from this mental torture, but also praying that this masterful cinematic experience never ends. Number 1. A Quiet Place Modern life is noisy. With increased traffic on the roads, the constant whirring of electrical items and those damn annoying birds, it's almost impossible to get true silence these days. Unless you're in a cinema. Part of a cinema screen's immersion is its lack of outside noise. 
Customers are publicly shamed for talking during movies, and even the faintest crunch of popcorn is enough to get someone excommunicated from any respectable establishment. This militant focus on silence plays perfectly into the world of A Quiet Place, a world where the smallest sound could be your last. A Quiet Place follows the Abbott family as they struggle to survive a world populated by aliens. Not just any aliens though, aliens with an acute sense of hearing that will kill a human if they so much as step on a semi-crunchy leaf. With barely any dialogue, the film forces its viewers to sit in silence and wait for something to go wrong. This is a guaranteed tension creator, and one that was tailor-made for the deathly quiet landscape of a movie theatre. And that concludes our list. If you think we missed any, then do let us know in the comments below. And while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe and tap that notification bell. Also, head over to Twitter and follow us there, and I can be found across various social medias just by searching Ellie Littlechild. I've been Ellie with What Culture. I hope you have a magical day, and I'll see you real soon.